Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode two. Um, this episode, same thing, a lot of cutscenes, so I'm gonna play, do a couple more, see how it goes. I enjoy playing this game, but it probably looks really, really boring, especially since I don't do much talking because it's a lot of cutscenes, right? Um, so I'm gonna keep going. As I said, a little bit of an introduction inside the video, but enjoy it. Uh, don't don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in future videos. Bye. I swear. Is this another prison? I... No. I mean, I don't think so. Then where am I? Tell me. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble... Alrighty, so welcome back. Um, this is now going to be episode two. So last time we beat up on some green rifts. So... Now we're going to be doing something else today, so it's episode two, and welcome back. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor, at once, she said. You dress like a fool, look at me. Oh, there we go, that's better. That's him. That's the Herald of Andraste. They said we Yes, praise me. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to see you. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. What game do we play? Dragon Age. What's that? It's pretty fun. So far, at least. It's like a night dude running around. I'm an elf. There huh? Any bad there any well, there's a mage. Chancellor Roderick says that there's yeah, something to do with us. Have you got completely mad? He should be. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. <laughs> Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result insofar as you're concerned. Have a care, an asshole. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoners. I heard hmm? the voices in the temple. The what? Sword. <laughs> his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. I'm not the chosen one. Are you sure? What are you? Are you serious? I believe I'm innocent. I'm not a chosen. I realize I'm an elf, a Dalish elf. I have not Ouch. forgotten. No matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. 
You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. Let's check his badass. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader. No numbers. A lot of cutscenes in that chair. And now, no chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now. With you at our side. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Xbox gun? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, put this in the garage. Go ahead. It's all yours. No. No. Actually, this one looks dustier. Why? Alright. I guess the game starts now. I've been playing it for an hour. Level three though, sweet. Let's go check out my skill tree. Oops, that's not right. Let's get some frost. Let's see. My staff is bigger Does than I am. You?
I wish I could get rid of it. We have need of it yet. So you've mentioned. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Sounds like fun. How could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we love to stay caught up. Sweat, but I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of. She is our spy master. <laughs> Tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. In There's a lot of control right, right now. Look at that. Might destroy us all. Right. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Okay. Just a cutscene, right? I was a Templar. Oh, yeah. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. I'm father. If I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I could be trouble. She's asked for me. You don't think that could be an ambush? I doubt it. From what I know of her, she's a kind soul, and not the sort to involve herself in violence. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. My scouts are posted on the ridges, in case there's any trouble. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, fast travel. Good. Giselle dies. Warhead dies.
Take the midget. Oh wait. Take all three. Is the same guys just got him in though? Are they back in there? World of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding. I, I'll call her Freckface. I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and. No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh, wonderful. The Hinterlands are as good a place as any to start fixing things. <sighs> I came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horseman. It's like I'm watching a movie, I'm recording myself watching a movie. Basically. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the front. Alrighty, can't even skip it. Mage Templar fighting getting worse. We couldn't get to Dennett. I'll meet him. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Corporal Vale and our men are... You best get going. I right, here we go. This might interest you, sir. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Mother Giselle should be somewhere nearby. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Do you want to go to Snowman? Oh, we are not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. Templars, we mean you no harm. 
Doesn't look like they're listening. Be ready. More coming our way. Another cutscene. There's crossbows in his head. God, he's short. Okay, see? There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new Divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people. Senselessly taken from us. But don't you stand with the rest of the Chantry? With no divine, we are each left to our own conscience. And mine tells me this. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. That won't just make it worse. Because you are a mage? That too. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could be in a position to force that will deliver us or dis. I will go to Haven 
and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. think is the toughest, Josephine, Liliana, or Cassandra? I'm right here, you know. That doesn't rule you out, Seeker. Cullen's not up for consideration? A fast travel? Oh, nice. to look pretty. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, is that my waypoint? Just save the world, but can't climb the hill. This guy just came up with the tank. Thanks for your help. He's like he's saying the fire. and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. He's a badass. They're in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Denning. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fellow. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Farewell. And you as well. One more quest and then I'll oh, loot distraction. Cool. Those are like a lambs we'll see a bush. I understand. Alright, so we're gonna do one more quest and two. We got 30 minutes. Yeah, that's the last one. And then we'll cut it again and we'll come back later. Interesting read, even. Could be worth a look. Maybe I'll explore that house a little bit. Let's see what's in it. Shit. Oh. 
That sound bitch. Can I craft I in this game? Templars. They don't care who they kill anymore. 
You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Look at my badass helmet. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a major staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. Goodbye. Farewell. Hmm. Hey. Oh, she just screwed him up. What was that? Mages and Templars and innocent people caught in the middle. Some things never change. Stop this right here. And I'll continue that. So that's episode two, and I'll see you later.